What is up, ladies and gentlemen? So we're back with another episode of Conan Exiles. My name is Morier. So yeah, it's April 15th, and a new patch just came out about 30 minutes ago. It's a DLC. A lot of cosmetic things they added as far as like different skin weapons, the building pieces, all of which I do not care about. But there's one thing I do care about, and that is the pack elephants. So I would assume that you can now go to the Savannah area, which is around Swagger Rock, and actually pick up one of those baby elephants and put it in the taming pen and tame it. I have no idea what you have to feed it, but we'll figure that out. But that's what I'm excited about. What I'm curious to know is that thing is so freaking big. Does it have the most pack space of any bearer or mule that you can have with you? As far like this is my bearer here that I use. And he's got a lot of inventory space. So what I want to know is can it hold more than him? And just how big is it? So that's what I'm excited about. That's... I was at the volcano, I was collecting thralls, I've been doing it for hours again. Uh, so, yeah, I'm kind of going to finish up here. I'm on my server again. It is Hyborian Savages uh, version 2.0. If you are interested in playing, just do a search on the PC version of Conan Exiles and you will find my server and I welcome you. And I do want to give a shout out to everybody who subscribed to my channel. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate every one of you guys, so thank you. Now here's a tip for you guys. Uh, somebody on my server actually discovered this, and I'll give them credit, it's Atomic Jazz, is their name on my server. So if you want to auto run, like I'm talking where you're sprinting and running, because Numlock is just auto run, right? But it's not sprinting. What you can do to actually auto run where you're sprinting is hit auto run now hold shift then hit m then let go of shift hit m again you're sprinting the whole time you see i'm not even touching the keyboard <laughs> so again what you do num lock hold shift hit m open the map now this let go of shift then the next time you hit m you're sprinting i'm just using the mouse to steer yeah, stamina's going down. And yes, I am not holding the shift bar. So there you go. That is how you auto run on Conan Exiles uh, to actually sprint. And be careful with that. You know, usually when I'm auto running, it's because I'm looking at the map to see where I'm going. Uh, since you're sprinting, you will go off a cliff very quickly. So yes, be careful with that feature. It kept. Okay, so this is what I've discovered Numlock, hold shift, M. Let go of everything, right? Auto sprinting. Hit W to stop sprinting. But when I hit W again, I'm still in sprint mode. You'll see the stamina drain. See that? It basically leaves you stuck in sprint mode. Uh, doing that. that Maybe a good or bad thing, I'm not quite sure. But yeah. So if you actually want to stop, I think you got to hit shift. And that'll actually stop your sprinting. Yeah, it did. See, so yeah, if you do that trick, when you stop, you're still in sprint mode the whole time. So either hitting shift or I think even hitting S to go backwards will take you out of the sprint mode. Alright, we are just about here. And besides getting the... I never took that path, that's funny. Uh, besides getting the... Elephant. There's something else I do want to show you. That I did not know here. I wish they would have fixed the hitboxes. Well, that's one thing I'm um, looking forward to. I don't believe it was this patch. I think it's one of the next ones coming up. But daggers, when you do a heavy attack, it's going to have... What's the word they used? Hyper armor. Uh, which essentially means... I'm not quite sure why it's called hyper armor, but what it is is there's an animation when you're doing it. So you can't be interrupted when you're doing this heavy attack. 
because a lot of people like to use spears and just poke you and keep interrupting you with daggers. So basically, PvP, nobody really used daggers. It's pretty rare. I still do, but a lot of people did not because getting poked by a spear constantly interrupted. If you use daggers and you fought an NPC that has a spear, you know how much of a pain it can be. But the fact that they're adding hyper armor to the daggers so you can't be interrupted during your heavy attacks, that's awesome. That's a step in the right direction, I believe. But it's being added to daggers and to the two-handed mace. The two-handed mace will be on the light attack. It'll have hyper armor. Which I'm just going to call an animation. It's going to have an animation that can't be interrupted. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, here's a couple babies. Hopefully this one doesn't get mad. We're stealing the babies. I'm going to take the babies. Yeah, that's so funny. Oh, you killed that one. You killed your own baby. What's wrong with you? You see that? Wait, can you get rhinos too? Can you get rhinos babies? You can always take a rhino though, couldn't you? Huh, I don't know. If you find a rhino baby, we'll grab one. Yeah, elephant calf. That's awesome. What do they eat? I have no idea. I'm gonna assume exotic flesh? Does elephant eat flesh? We need peanuts. Can we make peanuts? We gotta check. Nah, no peanuts, okay. At the circus is what they eat, I don't know. Alright, here's a little rhino calf. We'll take one of these guys. There we go, we got one. But yeah, go to the Swagger Rock. I'm sure you've seen what I call Simba up there. I actually need some of that aloe seeds. It was just yesterday I actually thought to myself, oh, let's try to kill Simba. But, this is the part I didn't know. When you skin him, I got Potion of Bestial Memory, and he gives Shade Bloom. I didn't actually get any that I saw this time. But yeah, he gives these. Oh, this is okay. That resets your attributes. But yeah, and then, like I said, he drops the Shade Bloom. So if you don't feel like going to the Midnight Veil to get it from the bosses there, just kill him. Yeah, I don't see any more babies. I would have had three, but my mama killed one. Not quite sure why she did that. We got a problem at the savannah. Mama's killing her babies. Send help immediately. <laughs> I was just thinking, it'd be funny <laughs> if they show them giving birth. <laughs> they show everything else. That's funny. No, I read, as a side note, that there eventually, at some point, is going to be a castration system in the game. That when you kill a player, you'll get, like, those body parts in loot. <laughs> Which is kind of funny to me. And then you can actually make jewelry from it. I can just imagine players running around with freaking male anatomy necklaces. That's just funny. That's <laughs> just funny. Uh, this game is wild. Wow. I almost died. Side note. Again. Silent Legion armor. On the thrall. Has 720 armor level. Stats don't matter. On thralls. Just a regular. This is just a regular heavy armor here. The flawless heavy. 760. All the other sets basically have 760. 760. So just use the other armor sets. You need oil for this one. Forget that oil. Unless you like to look, but it has less armor level. And on a thrall, that's all that matters is armor level. They don't take any of these stats. And the reason you know that for a fact, uh, people are saying they do. You know, I'm sure there's people out there, yeah, they do. Okay, well. There's a couple of these pieces. Uh, we'll find one here, right there. Has vitality. If you raise your vitality, you get more hit points. Do you see its hit points? 7425. Do you see its hit points? 7425. 
This is all encumbrance. There's no strength bonus, that, uh, vitality bonus there. So, and that's, I think, all these sets. This is encumbrance also. Now, he's a bearer. For some reason, he's got 9,900 hit points. I don't know. I assume he doesn't hit as hard as a fighter, but I didn't actually verify that. 7425. This is all strength. But that doesn't matter. We kind of just proved that. If the stats on the armored mattered, he would have more hit points. He does not. So, a lot of people like to use, on all their thralls, Silent Legion armor. You should not be using Silent Legion armor. You're using the incorrect armor. If you care about your thralls being perfect, you should be using basically any other heavy set that has 760. Okay. They're taking the plant fiber. that works. What do these guys want? Plant fiber too? Let's try plant fiber. Okay, they're taking it. I, I don't know. You could tame a rhino before. I'm so confused. Now, unless these elephants hold a lot more than this bearer, so if it has more slots, the elephant, than this guy... Like, it should have double, in my opinion. But if it does, in fact, have double, I, I don't know. It might have exactly the same. See, what they showed on the clip was this guy. A rhino. Carrying. Okay, that elephant is big. In there. Huh. Use two of these. I should have just did one to see the basic elephant, but... Who wants to see the basic? We don't want to see no basic elephant. Caravan elephant. Haha. <laughs> okay, you can make it into the caravan because I think if you just put down this it's a pet but if you craft it into this that's what makes it the caravan <laughs> that looks interesting I'm going to test their inventory capacity. <clears throat> Let's check out the elephant. It doesn't look as big as I thought it was going to look. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. It's definitely not as big as the ones you fight. Thirty-six ten hit points. So it's got the same inventory space. Right there. Okay, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 25, you can hold 25 items. Yeah, you got 30 items. They have five more storage spaces. So, this is my final opinion about this DLC. The Treasures of Tehran. So, 
yes, yeah, so you got an elephant, you got the caravan rhino, but me personally, it's got 3,600 hit points for, and it's got five extra inventory slots. I wouldn't use it. I'm, I would not use any of these. I would just bring my tier four thrall which has 25 slots instead of 30 because thralls are better at fighting than pets. If you put a thrall versus a saber tooth, which in my opinion is one of the better pets, I'm pretty sure the thrall would freaking own that thing. NPCs are just way better than pets. They've always been. So, yeah. I won't even use it. Honestly, to me... For them to make it worth it, this thing should have carried double. So this thing should have had 50 slots on it. As opposed to the Thrall having 25. Then, I probably would have used it. But with just 5 extra slots, I'd rather have a Thrall that can actually fight. The Bearer is not as good as a Fighter. I can kind of see that already. The Fighter probably would have had that thing pretty low. I don't think this bear is going to be able to kill it. But. He has taken a hit pretty good. So. That's kind of what it's about. Okay, so. He, he can take some hits. It's going to take a while for that spider to kill him. But the, spider, the scorpion would have eventually killed him. Yeah, now they're hitting each other. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely dying a lot faster than that bearer is. There's no question about it. Yeah, so... My opinion stands. I would never use the elephant. I'd never use the rhino. The actual pets are... Like, half as good as... A for all. There you have it. That is the new... DLC that just came out today. A couple of hours ago now so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so take care